Nigerians fault army over claim of IPOB ESM commander's rest in Enugu. So this is what the army are doing of late. Um, any like we always tell you at Apple Line Media, any young man and any young woman who they don't like his face, take for instance, a police officer or an army man toast you as a young girl. What I mean by toast you as a young girl, ask you out or is intending to be your boyfriend and all that and you refuse. Guess what? You have become ESM. He will tag you as ESM and before you know it, they will pick you up all just to give you, so just to torture you and suffer you, you see. So, they said recently that they arrested an IPOB ESM commander in Enugu, but hear the real truth. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The International Society for Civil Liability and rule of law has faulted the Nigerian army over his claim that he arrested the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and commander of Eastern Security Network in Enugu. The group made this known yesterday in a statement titled, How the Nigerian Army Dispute Disrupted Christmas Eve Church Service and Movements in Neke Killed Two Arrested a 40-year-old Mason and labelled him ESM leader. He is not an IPOB or ESM leader. Because he challenged them, they branded him ESM commander just to make him suffer. The Nigerian army had on December the 26th, Boxing Day 2021, claimed that his troop arrested one Godwin Nerdy, who is described as a suspected leader of the IPOB ESM. Army spokesman Oyema confirmed the arrest in a statement saying the notorious leader was arrested in Nekere, East, Council, East Council of Enugu during a clearance operation in the area. But that's a lie. They went into a church, killed two, and arrested this young man. But the group said the army cooked up the statement to cover the backlash and add cry arising from its murderous operation on December the 24, 2021 in Ekbefo. Uh, this, a detailed investigation carried out by the International Society for Civil Liberties and Rule of Law had contradicted the Nigerian army claim. The so-called ESM commander, who is identified as Godwin, is a 40-year-old mason and struggling father of two. He's... he's True name is Citizen Godwin, not Godwin Naji, not Godwin Nedi. He hailed from Modi Ego and he resides in that area in Enugu. He was unarmed and was adopted from his sleep following his sick arrest arising from work related stress and pain. He had taken some pain relief tablets and was sleeping when Sodia stunned his family house at 12.21 a.m. on December 25, 2021 and adopted him, the group has stated. It also explained that his mother, Teresa Nergi, and two of his siblings, including his blind younger brother, who was also rounded, handed, and assaulted, were in his home when the disease was at when the, it was adopted citizen godwin neji was labeled esm commander because he wrote a badge of rising sun signal in his home the soldiers later took him and others adoptees to the 82 division headquarters in enugu through the ne neba river and oroko town and drove to the 82 division headquarters and now has taken him to abuja laboring him the leader of esm can you see that the man was in his home but they, they, they said because he had this um this signal of a rising sun this is why he was at home he did not even go to work the day before because of stress related the kind of work he's doing is a struggling father of two can you see the things that are going on but the, the, what, the, what they are branding him with now is that he has a rising sun uh, symbol. 
in the front of his house. Just like what they did to uh, this actor, you know, where they picked him up because he wore a dress, a civil dress, like he said. He wore a civil dress and the dress had the colors, okay? And the particular color now in Nigeria is a sin to wear. The dress had color and for this reason he was picked up. He, they said he even took painkiller and he was sleeping. They came in the night and they have branded him this. Do you really think that, I mean, the, the, the atmosphere in Nigeria is, is clean with a lot of pollution of lies and deceit and evil going on? Do you think the atmosphere alone, why is this not going on in the north? Picking up of those who are adopting people. Let me tell you what's going on in the north. I want to contra I want to give you the contradiction of what is going on. Now, these people will come out, meet the security district head, the Emmy and the rest of them, and we tell them that uh, they want this, they want that. They should go and tell the government to ask the soldiers to go. Otherwise, and nobody will touch them. They will even come, police will be in the palace there. When they are discussing with the district head, with the Emmy, nobody, no human being will touch them. They will come. Have you seen their pictures? They will come sit down with their guns and everything, cover their face. Nobody will touch them. I'm not, I mean, I don't understand what is going on in Nigeria. And you know the worst thing? The governors of the East, every one of them, they are as quiet as a mouse in the face of all the oppression going on. Forget about Hope. Hope is not a governor. He's an administrator that was put in there as a, a mole. Okay, so and he has sold out his people. So for, Hope is not part of the pack. Forget about Hope. Just forget about that one. That's not, that's not our point of contention. Hope has nothing to do with the equation. Okay, Hope has nothing to do with the equation. In the East, go and, go and check it in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the... And nobody's coming after them. Not a single person. They know them. In fact, they know their family home. They know their father. They know their mother. Should I interest you again? You remember the man called Gumi? He knows them so well. He goes to them. Nigeria will give him security agencies to go. Initially, when Nigeria was saying, I, I, I thought you guys are saying you are fighting insecurity. How come Gumi is going? They said, uh, Gumi said he's not going there on his own. That the government knows he's going there. This is Gumi speaking. That even, and in, in initially, if you've been following us, he, he said even the governors of those states will give them, you know, we give them security, we give them detail, we give them everything they need. That's so they're not going there on their own accord, that the government is aware. It's when Nigerians began to shout that they began to, you know, stop uh, associating themselves. But in the East, they take away lives and property just like that. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.